Okay, so this video is going to be on the titration calculations, and in particular, it's going to be on finding the concentrations and volumes using our experiment's data. The next video will be on finding the pH. So, the example here is 25 centimeters cubed of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide was titrated against 35 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. Find the concentration of HCl. So the first thing you'd do in a question like this is you'd write out the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. So we know that HCl plus sodium hydroxide is just a simple acid-base reaction and this is going to form sodium chloride plus water and I know that you know that because that's pretty much AS standard so the next step is we write out whatever you know and calculate the moles for anything you can so we know looking back at the question that we have 25 centimeter cubed of 0 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide and we have 35 centimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid so using the first piece of information we had that was that we had for the sodium hydroxide we have 0 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed and we have 25 let me just check that's right yep centimeter cubed volume so using this data we can calculate our moles for sodium hydroxide I'll do this in red and that's just simply timesing the two together because remember concentration times volume gives us number of moles but don't forget to convert that centimeter cubed into decimeter cubed because as you can see decimeters centimeters we need to work in decimeters so doing that we get the 0.5 times this by our volume which is 25 times 10 to the minus 3 and this gives us our number of moles which will be not 0.0125 okay so next even though it won't help that much right now but it might help for later we can write down what other information we have and we have that we've got a volume of 35 centimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid and we'll need that later so the next step is we use the balancing numbers to calculate the moles of what we're calculating so from this equation we can see that we have a one to one ratio so it's one to one so that means our number of moles of hydrochloric acid will be the same as a sodium hydroxide so therefore our moles of HCl equals moles of NaOH and another therefore the moles will be 0 0.0125 Okay, so now we've got our moles of hydrochloric acid. The final step's the easiest step, and that's just calculating our concentration or volume by using N equals C times V, rearranged to give whatever we need. So in this case, we will rearrange that for concentration. So that's concentration equals number of moles over volume. So therefore, subbing in our values, that's going to be 0.0125, divided by our volume which was here Ooh. which was here so again converting this into decimeters if this wants to work that's 35 times 10 to the minus 3 or you may like to just do 35 and then times the top by a thousand but I think this way is a bit nicer and this will give us our concentration which if you plug into your calculator is not 
not 0.357 and finish it off with the units moles per decimeter cubed and there you go that's how you can calculate the concentration using your titration data and now I'll just move on to another example let me just clear all this and my next example will be using whereas in the previous question everything was monoprotic in this example we got a sulfuric acid which is diprotic so this one is what volume of 0.125 moles per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid is needed to neutralize 20 centimeters cubed of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide so the steps are exactly the same as before so the first step is write out the balanced equation so if we've got our H2SO4 when this works we know that this is diprotic so no matter what the base we're going to need two moles of it unless the base is also a diprotic base such as magnesium hydroxide but this time we have sodium hydroxide so obviously only one mole of hydroxide can be formed from this acid so we're going to need to add the balancing number two so we get two moles of hydroxide to balance the two moles of protons so this then obviously is going to form our sodium sulfate and two moles of H2O just make sure everything's balanced so once we've done this we need to again write out whatever we know and calculate the moles for anything we can so for the H2SO4 we know that it's got a concentration of 0 0.125 but that's all we know and now for our sorry and now for our sodium hydroxide I just had to find my notes for a second we have 20 centimeters cubed volume and we have a 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed concentration so using these we can derive our moles again using the same principle as before just times the concentration by the volume not forgetting to convert our units and then this because I'm running out of space I'll just do the actual moles answer and this gives us a moles of 2 times 10 to the minus 3 mole so the third step is oh I actually had more room than I thought but for the third step we use balancing numbers to calculate the moles of what we're calculating so we've got a ratio of 2 to 1 because look there's 1 here there's 2 here so 2 to 1 ratio means that we're going to have 1 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of sulfuric acid so finally the final step which is the, probably the easiest step overall is we just rearrange this equation here to give us this time volume so that's going to be volume equals number of moles over concentration subbing in our numbers gives us 1 times 10 to the minus 3 all divided by 0.125 because obviously it's our moles of sulfuric acid and this gives us our volume in decimeters which is 8 times 10 to the minus 3 and I would recommend at this stage you do convert your answer back into centimeters cubed and this is quite simple though so don't get too worried it's just timesing by a thousand and then this gives us the answer of eight centimeters cubed 
And that's it for your titration calculations. I hope this helped, and the next video will be the pH calculations.